Now with an ABC News exclusive, Simone Ledward Bozeman, the widow of the late beloved actor Black Panther star Chadwick Bozeman. Simone sat down with our Whoopi Goldberg for the very first interview about her unimaginable loss. Our friend and co-host of The View joining us now in studio. Good morning, Whoopi. Good morning. It was quite a, a, an experience. She's such an adorable young lady and, and this loss, you know, is still very fresh for her. And uh, I really wanted to talk to her about their relationship, you know, and how they met. Because I, I like origin stories, yeah. you know. And so it was very, um, very moving. I, I just felt, I felt what she was feeling, I think. And that was that loss. Because he was, you know, that star was so bright and had so many possibilities that suddenly it's gone. And I, I couldn't imagine what it was like to lose that light in her life. So I, I wanted to talk to her about that and all the other things that, you know, he is responsible for. I mean, talking about little kids looking at Black Panther, seeing themselves going, oh, me, yeah. I could be that. Yeah. You know, I wasn't Black Panther for Halloween this year, but I thought about it. <laughs> you know, I did, but I couldn't get in the costume. <laughs> I put on a little weight. Anyway, um, you know, she's also an artist. Uh, and a musician and she said that she's recording new music and and she just she's making her way through the world without him you know and it's it's really something to to watch and yeah. to listen to and so because this is still kind of fresh I haven't really done a deep dive study on how I should be talking about this yeah. this interview but it is terrific I think because it it gives you some insight into them Let's, let's take a look at All it. All right. I met this person who was this wonderful man, and he then ended up being a global superstar. Yeah. <laughs> and really, after Black Panther came out, it did kind of happen yeah. overnight. Black Panther would forever change Chadwick Boseman's life. It catapulted him to a different stratosphere of fame. The film earned more than a billion dollars worldwide, with Chadwick becoming the first black superhero in the Marvel Universe. We knew that we had something special that we wanted to give the world, that we could be full human beings in the roles that we were playing. But in 2020, after a hard-fought and private four-year battle with colon cancer, the 43-year-old actor passed away. Now, the news both shocked and devastated fans around the world. And it devastated his family, including the love of his life, his widow, Simone Bozeman. I can't believe that. I can't believe that I was so lucky. I can't believe that I got to love this person. And I also got them to love me, too. Simone, you're with me every day. I have to acknowledge you right now, love you. It has been the most challenging two years I've ever had in my life. When you decided not to share what was happening, were you scared somebody was going to dig and find out that he was much iller than people thought? It was COVID, when things were really starting to spiral. And that meant that everybody was in their house. And there was no pressure for anybody to go outside. It seemed like, is this a crazy coincidence that we get to actually be inside? We get to be here with family, with, you know, together. Yeah. together. And everybody in the world is also experiencing this togetherness mm -hmm. in the midst of this awful, scary, unpredictable time. Yeah. We kept that circle real. Our circle was basically a dot. That support was a needed crutch. It would be Simone who would accept the Golden Globe on her late husband's behalf for his role in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I ain't like you, Killer. I got talent. Oh, Me no. and this home, oh, we's tight. He would say something beautiful, something inspiring, something that would amplify that little voice inside of all of us that tells you you can, that tells you to keep going that calls you back to what you are meant to be doing at this moment in history. Some days I'm doing worse than I'm really willing to acknowledge, and other days I'm doing better than I feel comfortable admitting. Right. 
you know, the, the grief really, it, it moves in. Howard University was his beloved alma mater, where they recently reestablished their College of Fine Arts program, naming it in his honor. So we have a scholarship now right. at Howard, and we have four scholars. One of them uh, graduated this past year and, you know, was very proud to be the first graduating Bozeman scholar of the first graduating class yeah. of the Chadwick Bozeman College of Fine Arts. One of the scholars is junior acting major Sean Smith. Chadwick Bozeman's legacy has paved the way for me. He showed that you weren't just limited to these basic roles. You could do whatever you want. And education was a huge, important part of Chadwick's legacy. Taking this mantle, yeah. and we are carrying it to as many voices as we can. Wow. What a powerful interview. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 I sat there just holding on, yeah, <laughs> you know, but she, she, she's, she's quite a force to be reckoned with. And, yeah. And if anybody's going to take that legacy forward, it's going to be her. Yes, I agree certainly. with that. And there's a lot more to watch. You can see more of Whoopi's interview as part of the special 2020 Presents Black Panther in Search of Wakanda. It airs this Friday on ABC at 8 Eastern, and it streams the next day on Hulu. Whoopi, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.